enzyme that we measure quite often is ALT and ALP. What those two enzymes are is that they are looking more at liver damage. Okay, uh, note that I use the word damage now, not function. Very, very different. Okay, for example, if you're driving a car and you have a chip on your windscreen or your wing mirror gets broken, there's damage. But is it still functional? Yes, you can still drive a car. Okay, so that is looking at the damage, not the function. Okay, liver function is a different test. So when the normal usual blood test, your vet runs, or a profile or a screen, they'll usually be looking at liver damage, looking at ALT and ALP. Okay, what it really means is that ALT is a little enzyme that's actually found within the cell of your, the liver, in the liver cells. So when the liver cells burst, the ALT comes out, goes into the bloodstream, and that is being measured. So if you have a very, very high ALT, it just means that a lot of liver cells are bursting. A lot of damage is being done. ALP is not as specific to the liver because ALP can be found anywhere else and usually the animal can tolerate a higher level of ALP increase without having any issues to uh, the function itself. So ALT and ALP, there's a difference between function and damage. Okay. Another thing that we look at when we look at biochemistry is the blood glucose. So we, we, usually the blood glucose is very, very tightly regulated between sort of 3 and 8 uh, millimole per litre. If there's too little, you suffer from hypoglycemia. Uh, so if you've ever been to a gym or you exert yourself way too much and didn't eat enough, you feel faint. Okay, That can be quite dangerous. You have to sit down and chill out, either drink something sweet or just allow your body to recover before you start exerting yourself again. Hypoglycemia can be quite dangerous. It can sometimes lead to coma and death. Okay, On the other way around, if it's too high, on the other hand, if it's too high, it can lead to diabetes. And certainly stress can also increase the blood glucose level. So those are points to watch out for. And that is what we measure in the blood test to check what's the uh, blood glucose level doing for that specific reason. Sometimes we also look at bile acids. So bile acids are the little bits that causes jaundice. Uh, Wherever it's talking about the skin turning yellow, uh, there is a lot of uh, issues of, sort of bilirubin and things like that. If there's elevation of that, you can get uh, jaundice. And you must question whether it is a liver issue or is there just more uh, too much uh, bilirubin that has not been metabolized for whatever reason. So CK is another word for creatinine kinase. Okay, this looks at muscle damage. So this is one of the sort of um, uh, little enzymes that you find out when there is the CK is quite high, usually there is a bit of muscle damage, so you can correlate to the particular case and ask yourself, is there a lot of weight loss? Is there any particular reason why the muscle should be damaged in this particular individual? And that's what you can find out.